Thank you. Thank you. I watched it, I stood up, and I watched it again. Thank you. Yeah. Well, just, there are a million different questions, but one is, you know, to see you two brothers, you've never um, worked this much in a film together, have you? I mean, it's just fantastic, but... No, this was the first time. Um, we actually done a funny or die thing together a long time ago where I gave him some, like, really bad acting lessons. And, I, and uh, that's when I, I really thought of that when I read the book. I just thought Davey and I had the right dynamic for it. So, based on, based on that, yeah. Well, I gotta say that um, my brother was pretty much in character the entire movie. And so that means he also directed me as Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> That was interesting. <laughs> Only way to do it. Like, how closely did you work with Tommy to, to master the voice? Because you completely, I mean, you knocked it out of the park. I felt like I was watching Tommy on screen there. <laughs> um. Yeah, Greg gave me a lot of uh, material. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting you in trouble or not, but he gave me a lot of material. And um, it's funny, um, Tommy obviously is a huge fan of James Dean, I think. And um, in a weird way, I, I studied the role of Tommy in the same way I played James Dean, like just sort of obsessively driving around in my car listening to the voice all the time. So uh, it was basically the same thing, playing James Dean, playing Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> But he did direct the movie in character as Tommy. So there were How scenes. That? There were scenes where How you were. That? There were scenes where you were playing Tommy, directing the movie as Tommy, directing the movie as Tommy. We've done, we've done a lot of weird shit in our day, but that was one where I'm like, this is fucking weird. Yeah. But the, the question is, were you thinking at one time you couldn't cast Dave in the film because people would just say they're brothers? And it's like, it actually worked beautifully because you guys are brothers. I all from the first first time I, I thought about it. But I, I on that phone call, I I was a little scared to put the idea forth because we didn't have the deal yet. I was talking to Greg and Tommy on the phone like three and a half years ago, and then Greg suggested it. And maybe I'm wrong, but. After Johnny Depp, I guess I was Tommy. You were the second, second choice. choice yeah. I think. So, so like, fortunately choice. for us, yeah, it worked out. So thank you, Tommy. <laughs> there are tons of writers in the audience. So in terms of as they write about this, it is still we did present a work in progress. It is a work in progress, technically. So if there's anything you didn't like, we'll fix it. Just to see that. <laughs> just know that. So don't write about that because you're wrong. Because we're going to fix it. <laughs> How do we know? They'll look silly. Yeah, they'll look silly if they write that. We know. We just know. We can, we, we can sense that. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to ask if you guys, this is like, you know, making this piece about this, you know, kind of outsider art, and you, and you talk about outsiders and insiders. And I was wondering if you've seen American Movie or Best Force Movie, and I, I really am fascinated to see, you know, some of that behind the scenes, but it kind of just this, idea of making this film about someone who doesn't, I don't know, like... Uh, He's right there. Right. Just, know. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that before you say whatever you're about to say. 30, 13 feet. Probably going to the next yeah, dock. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's standing up to ask the next question. <laughs> That's what I want to know, is that relationship that you have with Tommy and with the subject and that line, I guess, you know, that there is. James? I, um, I, when I read the book, I always said I identify with Tommy in a certain way where I, or I, I really, like, respected that he came out to Hollywood like so many, how many, you know, thousands or millions of people have done and that he got this movie made. And I always said like I had so much respect for him and that then maybe I thought, well, some of the behavior sounded like a little insane on set, but the more I made, you know, sat with this movie and in post and going through my own stuff, like, I am Tommy Wiseau. So. <laughs> Uh, ways I don't even want to admit. 
like spent so much time talking about how we like we love the room. Like yeah. it was it would have been easy to make a movie that was just making fun of the room or, or clowning it or just you know, objectifying it in some way, but we love it and like we watch it. I've seen it more than I've seen like network. Yeah. Like, I've seen, like, like I love the movie. It, there's a lot of movies that you could say are, are are movies that are easy to make fun of, but they're not movies you watch for a decade. And that's what we talked probably the most about while we were putting the movie together, which is like, why do we love this movie? Not why do we make fun of this movie or why do you laugh at this movie, but like what is, what's great about this movie? And at the end of the day, it was the earnestness of a guy who put himself out there and who made the thing. seem both for what it is and also what we view it as, which is a great thing, you know, and, and we love it. So that's what we try to do. Yeah. So I was curious, like, what was the hardest scene to shoot because it was so funny? I guess it must have been hard for you guys. I, I, it was hard for me. I left, I left the first two days of filming. Like, I, like, I couldn't talk to him. Like, I literally... I couldn't speak to him, like he, I would, because I was just a producer at first, I didn't act for like a few weeks in a filming, and I would just show up and be like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> this is crazy. When, when he was directing me in character, Evan, uh, Seth and uh, Evan and Goldberg, another producer, they came up to me and they're like, yeah. are you taking this seriously? <laughs> <laughs> if that was my brother, I wouldn't be able to get a no. single fucking line of dialogue. Yeah. Exactly. We had to warn everyone as they came to act, and we'd be like, it says, like, Matsukas and Hadley just, he's in character the whole time. It's very weird. Just, there's no way to get around it. You'll probably just laugh at his face for the first hour, then you'll move beyond it, and you'll listen to what he's telling you. But, like, it, it required, like, a disclaimer. Even, like, my family, my parents came to set, and I was like, he's in character. It's fucking crazy. It's one of those things you read about. Like, Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, like, it's exactly like the weirdest thing you've heard about. That's what we're doing. <laughs> when your parents were there, you had to bring them right up to them and be like, that's James Yeah, Franco. I didn't know. I my grandmother, my, my actual grandmother came to set and was there for several hours. And then she turned to me and said, where's James? <laughs> I was like, that's James. She was like, I was like, you are not going to like this movie. Yeah. <laughs> so I did want to get ask you guys a question though, because uh, uh, I actually was the original Chris R. So thanks for picking Zach. You were Chris R. What? what? You were an Olympic athlete. You were. What? Maybe cool if I could with you guys. It's now. fucking Chris R. Everybody. <laughs> Zach Efron played you. What? Maybe I don't know. Where is this money? Yeah. Get up here, Chris R. You look good still. You may as well. <laughs> Tommy, Greg, come on.
Anyways, glad to see a fellow Canuck on the stage. Uh, thank you, Seth Rogen. And thank also, you. I wanted to ask, how hard was it for James Franco to stay in character in the more serious moments of the film? Tommy, very serious guy. <laughs> not, not too hard. Just, you know, very focused. There was a moment when Tommy was on set with James, as you saw in the last scene, when Tommy actually interviewed James in character for around an hour, and it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen anything weirder. That will be on the DVD, I hope. Yeah.